Hello, my name is Steve Bowler, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to connect real Cisco switches into the program GNS3. Now, I have had a lot of users ask me what I am using for my GNS3 server, our Dynamip server, and I'm going to give you the specifications of my server before we do the lab. For my CPU, I am using a Intel Q9550. It's a quad-core CPU, not the best by any standards, but still it's a great CPU for GNS3. For my motherboard, I am running an MSI X48C Platinum motherboard. And for RAM, I, uh, I have 4 gig of DDR3 RAM. And there's really not much more else that you need for a solid machine run to run GNS3. But for this lab, what I am using is three quad port network interface cards. And they are connected into our motherboard here using the old PCI slots. So that's really what you want to make sure if you're trying to buy a motherboard. Just want to make sure that they have those old PCI slots on them so you can put your three quad port NICs inside them. And these quad port NICs allow you to bridge the connection from the real switches into GNS3. Because what you're going to see is most of the CCI vendors have at least for the routing and switching lab they have about 12 connections running from the routers to the switches so that's what I'm doing for my studies here for the CCIE routing and switching lab I'm using GNS3 to emulate all of my router instances from my backbone routers to routers 1 through 6 and then I am using for the switches I'm using real I'm using quad port NICs on my computer that are let's see I can give you the exact title of these network interface cards they are Adaptech ANA 62044 is the model type they're pretty cheap I forgot I think I got them on eBay for a great deal I think less than a hundred dollars for all three of them so again they are Adaptech ANA 62044 for your quad port NICs. Again, just bought them off of eBay for pretty cheap. You can catch them for a pretty good price. Not sure. It just all depends on timing. Some people just trying to get rid of extra hardware. Some people might be trying to jack up the price and make you pay a lot of money. So just got to keep your eyes open, do a search every day or two just to see if you can find them out there. Very good quad port NICs, in my opinion, for the price. So also, what I wanted to mention is that I am running Windows XP 64-bit. A lot of people choose Linux or Ubuntu for their OS for GNS3 and Dynamips. However, I mean, f even for the CCI level labs, I'm telling you that XP 64 bit is more than enough that you need. And that XP 64 bit auto detected my three quad port NICs that I have. So, with this setup, with this hardware, when I have 10 routers running external BGP, and full routing protocols other than BGP like OSPF and EIGRP when I set the idle PC value correctly I have a CPU utilization of about 10 to 15 percent so as you can see that is incredible CPU utilization for my lab so really that's all you need is a good quad core processor like a Q9550 and about four gigs of RAM and that should be enough that you need 
Anything else was probably overkill. Some guys might be running dual quad cores and have 8 to 16 gig of RAM, that's fine, but if you have the money to expend. But if you are on a budget and you want to create a good GNS3 server, this is more than enough than you need. And I think I made this server or computer for less than $600 for all the components. That includes, you know, the video card, the hard drive, and all the other, the DVD, CD burner, the case, all that stuff. So what we're going to do in this lab, we're going to show you how to connect real switches again into your GNS3 program. So instead of having to buy real routers, you can just set up routers inside of GNS3 and then connect them to your real switches. What I run here is go to my PC. This will allow you to to get into your PC and then I can tell them that directly